From this particular session, we'll start with some testing applications that were available on your Pentester Lab platform. I have downloaded those applications and those applications will also be available to you in the course. So you can also test those applications. And for testing those applications, I'm using my Kali Linux here. And these are the five applications that we're going to test here. Right. So let's go with our first application here. And for that part, let's use our emulator as Android Studio. I'll start my virtual Android device. Just go with AVD Manager and let's start the Android device. All right. Let's arrange them side by side. Perfect. Now we just have to install the application first. So for the installation part, just go with drag and drop your application here. Now just go with the menu and here you can see we got our Android application. Just open the application and we were asked to enter our pin. All these five applications has the same vulnerability, hard coding issue. Your main objective was you just have to figure out where the data was hard coded here. So for the hard coding issues, just go with your decompilers. Right now I'm going to use JDEX here. Just open JDEX. Go with the desktop here and on the desktop you can see we got android01.apk. Let's open the file. Done. Just follow the package name and the package name here was com.pentesterlab.android. This was the package name here. Inside the package name you can see we got our main activity. If you don't know the package name or anything else, just go with your manifest file. And from the manifest file you can figure out the package name which was written in the second line here. The package name was com.pentesterlab.android01 or you can also figure out the main activity which was available on this particular location com.pentesterlab.android01 and your main activity. If I go with the source code for main activity, here you can see we got simple class declaration here. Under the class declaration we defined two variables. First one was your pin and second one was a submit button here. Pin was an input field and this was a button. After these two declaration, we got our onCreate method and inside those onCreate method, we got our basic declaration for this submit button and the pin input field here. Right? And we simply set an onClick listener for this button. After this part, if you go with the onClick method that was set on the listening mode, you can see we got two if condition and if both the conditions were true, we simply define an intent which was again act as a message box here. The intent name was again intent which will put an additional element here and the additional element was pin. With this pin as a key part, the value will be fetched from this pin.gettext.toString. It means whatever you enter here in this input field will be collected and sent back to this intent here. After that part, you will simply start an activity from this intent. After that part, we'll simply call the finish method and we return our functions here. Now, if you see this intent here with some focus, you can see this particular intent will be handled by this message activity dot class. It means this particular class will handle the intent. So if I just go with the right click and go with the declaration here, inside this message activity class declaration, you can see we got our onCreate method here. Inside the onCreate method, we got our basic declaration part for the super class and the basic components of the activity or the class here. Then we got an intent handler method with the get intent name and we also collect some extra message values here and we simply convert them into string. After that part, we simply show a message to the user and the message was the key is and we simply get the string from our this particular component then we simply go with the string file and we simply call the ptlab underscore key this was your resources here like resources dot strings dot xml file and then we call the ptlab underscore key variable there so if i go with the resources just go with the resources values and inside values just go with your strings dot xml file and inside your strings.xml file, you can see we got our ptlab underscore key. And this was the hard coded issue 
which was specified here in this particular application. We got the simple Pentester Lab application key here. This was your first application from the Pentester Lab. Have a good day and stay connected.